Now we've all had chicken burgers before and sometimes you've had it with a soft and mushy outer coating which nobody likes. I like my chicken burger to be crunchy from the outside and nice and tender chicken from the inside. That's the kind of burger we are going to make today. So let's get to it. Right, to make this chicken burger, I'm going to be using chicken thigh um, for this matter. So a nice piece of chicken thigh, uh, just clean off the excess fat. You can leave some fat in there because that will give you extra flavor. And to marinate this, we're going to get a bowl. And I've got um, the Asda brand buttermilk here. I mean, I don't like shown brands, but this is a buttermilk. This will make, oh, this will make your chicken absolutely fantastic. That's 300 milliliters of buttermilk, salt, black pepper. Just to give it a bit of spice, we're just going to add um, a bit of sriracha hot sauce in there. And then we're going to give this a mix. Whoa. So we'll give this a mix after a final spoon. And just mix all that in there nicely. Now we're going to let our chicken pieces soak in there for I'd say at least an hour, uh, but the more you do it, the better. Leave it overnight if you can. So there's chicken piece number one. Let's get that nicely coated in there. That's gonna really become super tender because the buttermilk will do its magic and let it be super tender and give it extra depth of flavor. So that's going to sit there for the hour. And in the meantime, while we're waiting, we are going to make a nice burger sauce, the usual burger sauce I love. Right, to make this sauce, you need uh, a couple of hoinks of mayonnaise. I mean, I'm gonna make two burgers, so that's probably about two tablespoons. About okay. a teaspoon of ketchup, and then about a teaspoon of the sriracha hot sauce, and then add some pepper and some salt. And then we'll just give this a quick mix. Right, we'll set that aside and wait for our chicken to tenderize in about an hour's time and we'll be back. Right, we've got a regular plain flour in there. We're just going to add that um, extra bit of flavor to it. So a few cracks of salt few cracks of black pepper. If you want a bit of spice, then you can add some cayenne pepper to it. Just for a bit of extra flavor, some garlic powder. We're going to give this a quick mix. If you want those crunchy pieces of um, like crust on the chicken, get some of this buttermilk and just drizzle it. Drizzle it on your flour. And that will help form that nice pieces of crust because you get these lumps of flour and they become nice, crispy and crunchy. We'll have to dig in with the hand just to kind of get those pieces in there. So chicken, you pull out and it goes straight, just, just drain off the excess buttermilk and straight into the flour, like so. Now, shake that about in there with your dry hand, just, um, cover and coat the chicken. Make sure you really get that flour in there and not leave any dry patches. What you wanna do is really, really smack it all the way into the chicken. Just make sure that all the pieces are covered. And once you've got everything fully covered and you think everything's set, ready to go, just shake off the excess and lay it down in a plate or flat kind of pan. So we've got our oil set to 170 degrees um, centigrade, or if you're in the US, it's about 350 yard Fahrenheit. And we're gonna lower our chicken piece in there away from us. So that's nice and safe. Perfect. And shake that so it doesn't stick to the bottom. 
and that's going to fry for about 7 to 10 minutes um, or just check it and once it's nice and golden brown cooked through with the internal temperature around 72 to 73 degrees centigrade we'll pull it out. Right it's been about 9 minutes and we are going to put our chicken out and just look at that beauty. Beautiful golden chicken sauce on the buns. Let me just swing this around. Be nice and generous with the sauce. And then we're going to pick our piece of, I'll pick it with my hand. Ah, that must hurt. Well, the bun's a bit small, but that is beautiful. Let's listen to that. That is pure crunch. And then again, a bit of sauce on the other layer of the bun. Let's crown this monstrosity. You know, in America, they call this a chicken sandwich. In, in the UK, we call it a burger. It's the same thing. It's got a chicken in there. It's beautiful. My cameraman's gone. Boom. All right, we're going to cut this in half and get that beautiful crust section and see how the chicken looks on the inside. Look at that crunch. Oh wow, look at them juices. Just literally spilling out. Look at that, oh my God. That looks amazing. Wow. So now the all and most important part is to try this. And all I'm gonna say, right, is just first of all, listen to that crunch. Just look at that tender chicken. Look at that, beautiful, absolutely amazing. I mean, do you know, I made a lamb burger last time and that was amazing in itself, but you can never beat a good old classic chicken burger that's been deep fried. Honestly, I really suggest you guys to make this at home. You'll absolutely love it. Never go back to that shop. I mean, you and I'll go back to the shop food at some time, but this my friends. All I'm going to say is thank you to everyone who's been watching videos and you know smash the like and subscribe and all that. The support's been appreciated, whether it's five, whether it's 500, it's all the same to me. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bon appetito. Chicken a sandwich.